Hi Capricorn, how are you? If you're new, how welcome. My name is Michelle and today we're going with your uh, weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will. Not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that roles can be reversed in between energies. And with this set, let's move forward. So we got the Five of Swords in reverse, the Temperance, Seven of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the tower in the reverse let's see what else <clears throat> the emperor and what is this this the what again uh the chariot in the reverse and the two of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom three of pentacles three of cups i'm sorry in the reverse so we got cancer scorpio sagittarius energies Aries, Libra, Gemini, and um, Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. <laughs> Anyways, let's see what's going on here. Um, they want you to, they're telling me this. Tell Capricorn to wait and to hesitate before saying something or doing something they may regret. I do feel like something could be feeling a little bit heavy in your mind, in your heart, into where you want to act on it. This could be literally act on it with actions or act on it with words and be like no i'm not gonna let this happen i'm gonna say it. i'm gonna say it i don't care they're recommending you to wait a little bit either or you're under pressure you're sad you're stressed you're in pain depends if you hurt yourself or so but whatever this is you're not really yourself a thousand percent because something else is happening in your life physically mentally etc so they're recommending you to take a minute to think about it before you say anything that you may regret or that you may put you in that position you find it difficult to get out of because like i always preach because uh decisions always bring consequences good or bad they always come with it so you have to be very a thousand percent aware and okay with whatever it is that you say you do whatever consequence comes after that that you're okay with it with the seven of pentacles i do see a you could feel like you're wasting your time on something you could feel like somebody's wasting your time and it's like you feeling fed up and this could be also you're trying to do something to do better money wise as well and you feel like it's not working and you feel fed up and you're like you know what i have nothing to lose i'm going to say it and this is right here to hold on because you may not think you may not be thinking straight because of something else and you make and you may jeopardize what's happening for you because you can't wait you are giving the leadership energies but with leadership comes responsibility not only basic responsibility of life but also the responsibility of act accordingly you need to try to find a balance between your human self and your logical self before you jump in. And if you were to go ahead and say something or do something, do it consciously and do it correctly to making sure that every base is covered so you don't look bad or cause an outcome that you're not ready to face. I do see some sort of blockages and delays in whatever it is is happening. And I feel that it's not your fault. You're doing everything correctly. I think this could be third party influences. You may not feel in power or in control. But it's telling me right here, it's not the end with Scorpio energy. It is not the end. It's telling me right here that this change that feels so abruptly is only opening the door to something bigger and better for you in all senses. With the three of pentacles in the reverse. They're talking about pretty privilege. And I'm not saying that you're not attractive. But you're not like maybe other people that you may see online. Or that, or that you may see that's coming into where you're not willing to put yourself through certain situations. Exposure in any way, shape or form. To achieve whatever it is that your heart desires. Now, you're not comparing yourself. You're not making anybody feel bad or better because of yeah, whatever it is that they do. But you yourself 
feel not comfortable into doing whatever has been offered in the future. And you feel sometimes, this could be that you feel sometimes that when you are trying to do things correctly by the book, it feels like everything goes against you. And it's like, what do I need to do to have a decent life? Or what do I need to do to make things work for me? And you often question yourself and you often be like, should I go the easy route? Should I go and do this and that? But it does seem like you don't feel comfortable doing that. Again, you don't compare yourself. You don't even look that way. But as you see, like a proposition has been placed upon the table for you. And you're like, I just don't feel comfortable. They want you to not fear. Because the universe, the God, the universe, creator, is bringing you good news. There is a very important good news coming your way, coming your way very soon. And it's in the horse. The horse is a very big representation of freedom. This could be financial freedom. This could be mental freedom of clarity of some sort of some questions i also see for some of you a new person is coming into your life that could become very significant in the future very important for you but i do see is a cup that is fulfilling exactly what you need and it will happen whenever you feel you are touching rock bottom even if you feel you are in that position, trust me, you're not yet. You're not yet. Now, I do see somebody, this could be a work or so, who is jealous of you and is constantly trying to put you down. Constantly trying to make you feel you're not good enough. This could also be childhood trauma that you're carrying. You could have been bullied when you were younger. This could be, again, childhood trauma in any way, shape, or form that you could connect with. And I do feel like it's been hard for you to see your value, to care for you. Some of you could have motherhood issues. Like, you may not be so close with your, mother, with your mom. I'm sorry. I was going to say mother, and then I went like, ma. So, some of you, I'm sorry about that. You may not be close with your mother, your mom, you know, your grandmother. Some sort of like female role that's supposed to care for you. It's like you're constantly looking for approval. But this person constantly compare to you. Compare others to you. Compare you. And try to. You feel like you did not feel loved. Some of you. And this is causing self-esteem issues. And to where this could lead for you to choose not the best partners. Or have again self-doubt. If it's not in love. Some of you don't speak with that person as much. So it's like your lack of. Some of you have lack of feminine energy. When it comes to mother. Grandmother. You don't hate. It's like you feel abandoned. And you feel like you had to grow up faster than others. When you were a kid. In this question of like, why do I always have to be 10 steps ahead just to be exactly where I am right now? So you are a very independent person. And it's there's no, no looking around and like, no, you're not. You're very independent. But I do see as well that you hold back a lot. Because it's like... In a way, you're trying to fit in. But you're not supposed to fit in. We're not the same person. We're not the same people. You're supposed to be in life and feel comfortable. But at the same time, you need to work on finding to be the best person, the best human being for yourself. So you can be, be on the best behavior to make better choices, to make better moves for your life. Seeking professional help if needed is also a good option and resource. With the seven of cups in the reverse. Beauty standards are not standards. Are illusions. Often making people feel that they should not be happy otherwise. But happiness will always overcome any beauty standard placed by another person on earth. Because beauty standards were created by humans. So at the end of the day. You need to treat yourself with decency, love judgment free be kind because trust me and with the right person you'll be art 
and art and every person is different that's why art is so unique the same way you're not attracted to anybody or everybody vice versa so at this point there's always somebody out there for somebody but as of right now you need to work on self-love so you can love yourself and then you're going to manifest that and people will give you exactly <clears throat> what you need excuse me you're not alone you have good people around you you have good people around you that care for you maybe, maybe they're not your family members but you could have good friends good co-workers there's so much love around you and a change of perspective so you can appreciate what you have sometimes we focus too much on what we don't have and what we want instead of like saying i'm grateful for what i have so then the universe with the same gratitude you accept what you have and what you got could provide you the resources so you can actually walk smoothly towards what you need in your goal in the love sense we need to work a lot in self-love otherwise you're always going to continue to find these energies over and over and over that just say the right they all say the right freaking thing but they just don't do it when people tell you all the right things but they do all the wrong things this is manipulation gaslighting this is nothing more than that you're not in a high school movie where words are magical no when words when words do not match actions you need to focus on actions and question why is this actions not matching these words and then you cannot say that they don't know because if they're saying it but they're not doing it they know they're just not doing it and the question is why are not they well why are they not doing it though that's the only question you need to focus on don't let people treat you like trash do not let that you're not disposable you're not to be hidden you cannot continue to feel this is usually what happens kind of energy you you cannot be in that energy you need to find a way to get out of that cycle that is unhealthy this could be friendships and love this could be whatever it is in your life you know you don't have to put a label on and keep in mind this does not have a first and last name this is your general reading for whoever wants to claim it as an advice if it's not for you you could be you could be the the vessel to help somebody else that may be close to you going through something you could be a i don't know cross watcher trying to understand your person for what i know so you capricorn you're not disposable and you should be putting yourself in that position of high regard because you deserve it everything you've done on your own not a lot of people could have all the things you went through and still you're here looking successful and trying every single day it's something that not everybody has the courage and strength to do so so you're indeed valuable you're indeed strong and you're indeed great and you need to see that you need to see it trust me trust me with the four ones you need to start working on celebrating even the tiny achievements that you could create no matter what how big or how small the achievements are they're still achievements and you should celebrate them start with your birthday start with little things start celebrating achievements because you're great you're doing it you're achieving things but you don't see it like that with the eight of cups love is going to come your way if you're single they're coming your way but you need to walk away of unhealthy patterns and unhealthy connection and or associations that don't do anything for you you need to work on whatever is hurting you and holding you back this is could have been for example walking away from somebody that yet that you know it's not doing any good in your life or perhaps getting some professional help if needed and or wanted maybe this could be bad friends nine of pentacles the world sees you in a different light attractive successful 
a lot of people will like to be with you, but you don't see it like that. Stop comparing yourself with social media. Social media is fake. Trust me. This is not my hair. <laughs> you know that, right? Trust me, social media is not real. I know creators. Trust me, what they paint on social media is not what they are. Trust me when I'm telling you this. Me, I just read the cards. I'm not an influencer, so I just read the cards. So... At this point, what I paint here is tarot readings. They're always accurate. You can take it or leave it. You won't take or take or change anything. You are the goddess of your own path. Readings are for entertainment. Take it or leave it. But at the end of the day, sometimes when you picture a person who's like perfect makeup, perfect body, it's they're not like that in real life. Trust me. And sometimes the most happy, the happiest people on earth sometimes are the most unhappy. And they're just trying to make a world a better place. So don't put yourself in positions that sometimes these people that you could be looking up to, of like they're perfect, they have so much, they could be in the same position you are, but they just don't let you know. Because social media, especially makeup and yada, 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 is supposed to entertain you. It's supposed to keep you away from reality. So don't put yourself down just because you don't look a certain way or just because you're not doing what they're doing because you're meant to be exactly where you need to be because what you're doing on earth is important and you're needed <clears throat> finally if you can dream it you can achieve it if you can dream that house if you can dream that car if you can dream that job you can achieve it but you need to realize what is it that you want and then you may you need to make a plan that is achievable under achievable time you cannot be inaccurate because then you're gonna fall back again you're not oh, you're not hold back you're not a prisoner of your reality good luck is in your way good luck is coming six of pentacles and maybe that one day when everything is what you need it to be maybe you're able to give back to society and helping those in need as well because what when you give you get back it's called karma at the end of the day stop focusing on those bridges you did not burn stop focusing on those people that stop looking back and move forward this is the key to happiness this is the key to success and it lies within you, baby. Because you are your creator. You are the creator of your own reality. You just gotta decide how fast you want things. Or what you want. It says, um, friends influences fake friends. Freedom in the reverse. Mm-hmm snake not what it looks like fake him divine masculine mm. somebody's not what they look like mm. divine intervention time to reflect for reflection whatever is happening in your life is time for reflection and most likely redirection reconstruction too soulmate everlasting you see you're not going to be single forever or if you're unhappy something better is going to be out there but everything takes time because sometimes you need to redirect and reconstruct make sure that your f uh, foundation is strong and that you're capable of continuing moving forward right like i said every decision comes with consequences make sure that those are the ones you wanted to make because you wanted them not because you thought you wanted them we are too old to make decisions and have to come back it says grass is greener possibilities hook up one night stand oof make better decisions blah, 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 blah. and finally says anxiety worry you don't want to surprise pregnancy though it says uh legal matters disputes home foundation and finally it says uh intuition inner knowing and rebuild so some of you may want to buy a new house make sure that you inspect that house before you buy it because you may have legal issues in what sense uh spending a lot of money trying to get some money back something like that if you hire the group to do something make sure that they're actually legit you're not trying to save money by let's say hiring cheap uh work you know what i'm saying <clears throat> in spanish there's a saying that says lo barato sale caro which translates to 
whatever is cheap at the end could, will become expensive. I know it does not sound as good or satisfying in Spanish, but that's what that means. Again, cheap often is expensive. Anyways, uh, thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me outside. I'm on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I have a, a Spotify podcast. Uh, I do spiritual topics in English and Spanish and other topics as well in the same English and Spanish. Thank you so very much and have an amazing day.